Hi, Mark here from American Aeration, and in this video I want to cover some of the best aerators that you can use to help aerate up to a one acre pond. A couple of uh, points to note before we dig into the actual aerators. All of the aerators we're going to cover today are subsurface based systems. They're diffused aeration systems where fine particulate air bubbles are released at the bottom of the pond. You use a land-based pump to, to drive air to those diffusers and this creates a, an extremely efficient and effective way to help increase oxygenation and circulation in a pond body. Now as we mentioned the systems we're going to talk about today are designed to aerate a one acre pond but the surface area is just one key element of that equation. The real important part of this whole setup or this whole calculation involves the depth. Uh, depth variances will create some different uh, requirements in terms of the aeration systems used. The main reason for that is the deeper that you can place a diffuser in the water, the more pond area it will affect. And conversely, the the shallower a pond is, the more diffusers you need to effectively spread that air around and turn a particular shallow body of water over. So um, everything that we're going to cover though uh, will certainly work in ponds of 8 to 10 feet or deeper. There's a couple of units here that can be modified even after the fact. They can have a diffuser added to them which actually would make them more effective at aerating an even shallower pond, let's say, than eight feet. So we'll get to that as we go through the various systems, but I wanted to make a note of that, that depth is really a critical distinction in setting an aerator like this up. The other point I'll make here is that the systems we're going to cover are all well vetted. Um, if you've shopped around very much or looked around online very much recently, you no doubt have been inundated with all kinds of models and brands and specifications. There are more aeration systems being marketed right now than I've ever seen in the 20 years that I've been involved with this industry. That's very good from a consumer standpoint because it gives you the opportunity for choice but it also from the feedback I've gotten from customers is that it's created some real confusion. It's, it's challenging when you have so many choices to pick the one that you feel might work the best for you and so the best that I can offer is to say that not all the aeration systems are equal out on the market. Um, we used to work with some fairly low priced imported designs and I'm not knocking imports that's not the point here but I can tell you that we ended up going away from those specific pumps and systems because of some troublesome little nagging issues um, when we got one that worked good it was great but the other five could have some some nagging little problems and or breakdowns or whatever and so that wasn't good for the customer and it wasn't good for us as a business and so we have gone through the process over the years of literally culling out the ones the the brands and the models and such that just didn't deliver the consistency and the performance that we expected and so what you'll see today are brands that we've worked with for in some cases almost 20 years um, all of them close to a decade and they've proven themselves they're some of the best and that is the key of, of the title of this video what's the best aerator for a one acre pond these are some of the best most reliable consistent performing that you're going to find on the market and so I wanted to make a note of that uh, as I mentioned two of the models we're going to talk about are very versatile uh, in some respects by the cabinet or covering or placement options that they offer uh, and then two of the models are expandable as I say if you put a, a system in and all of these are single diffuser based systems but if you put the system in and you find that you know I think I might want to add a second diffuser to spread the air around a little bit more maybe it's because of lack of depth in a certain part of the pond 
Well, you can do that with these two systems. They're expandable, and you can add a second diffuser on, providing better coverage for certain situations, and I think that's very desirable. Nothing wrong with starting with one to see how well it does. Uh, all three of the models that we're going to talk about, excluding the solar system that we'll cover at the end, can operate remotely, which means that if you don't have power by the pond itself, that's still okay because if you're 100 feet or 300 feet or even 500 or 1,000 feet away from the pond, if that's where your power source is, you can put the pump and the cabinet by the power source and use a burial type of airline. It varies by the brand of what they prefer to use, but you can use a burial airline to deliver the air down to the pond edge where the weighted airline hooks up, which goes into the pond and connects to the diffuser. So a very effective way and more cost-effective way to work with remote power if that is your situation. And then, of course, if you don't have power at all, uh, the solar offerings have improved in recent years, in my opinion, and are covering good ground now for people who need that kind of thing. So starting off, the first system we're going to mention here is the Easy Pro Sentinel PA34 aerator. This is good for ponds or rated for ponds of up to one acre in size, 10 to 12 feet deep or deeper. It has a max depth rating of around 50 feet, although 40 feet is probably more realistic for optimum and good performance. Um, it has a single diffuser, a uh, quarter horsepower pump, very, very efficient to operate, less than probably $10, $12 a month full-time to operate. What I like about the, the Easy Pro package here, not only because it's probably one of the better priced uh, models on the market right now, it, good value for the money for the performance, but it also offers optional packages from a very basic no-frills pump airline diffuser. Uh, if you have an existing shed structure outbuilding near the pond where you can protect the compressor, all these rocking piston compressors, by the way, need protection from the elements, and ideally they should be kept cool. Um, because they heat up in operation quite a bit. But if you have a shed or outbuilding already, you can forego any kind of factory cabinet, or if you're in the mindset to do it, you can build your own DIY cabinet or cover. Again, make sure it's well ventilated. Ideally, you'd put a cooling fan in there to pull the heat out to well ventilated on the opposite side to draw fresh air in and exhaust the hot air out. But um, you've got that option. And then along with that, there's factory cabinets in a post mount form, which would go on a 4x4 four four post, a dock structure, or even the side of a building. Uh, and then you've got the ground cabinet, which is shown in the image here. So all of these are, are uh, options from no frills to a fully deluxe package with cabinets, uh, pressure gauges, all that good stuff. In this PA34 system, you've got one uh, QS1 plate style self weighted diffuser. This is designed to sink down in and stay at the bottom of, of the pond. It's self weighted, so you don't need to add ballast like we used to have to do with all these designs. Very clean, slick, and it has a nice uh, 8 or I think it's a 10 inch actually plate membrane diffuser uh, which releases the air bubbles, and it's, it's a nice, effective design. 100 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline is included, or you can go no airline option if you wish, but typically the package will come with 100 feet of weighted 3 8 inch airline. It uses a Stratus quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor, very reliable, very durable. This particular company, Easy Pro, is contracted with GAST, which is a pump manufacturer in the United States. The majority of the components and manufacturing or assembly is done here. There's a few international components used, but for the most part, uh, you know, GAST has done a great job at um, improving the performance of this pump in this package, and it's been a good, a good move for Easy Pro to go with them. It provides 3.5 cubic feet per minute of, two, of uh, airflow with, on 2.5 running amps, and that's on 115 volt. You can get the pump wired to 230 volt if you wish uh, for no additional charge. The warranty from Easy Pro on this system is two years on the pump and then five years on everything else, which would include the diffuser, airline, and cabinet. Next up, we've got the Casco Robust Air RA1 aerator. Uh, it too will aerate up to one acre, around 10 to 12 feet deep or more. And uh, it also uses a quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. 
Optional cabinets again are available, very similar to the Easy Pro. This one has a few other features where uh, with the no cabinet version, it includes a cooling fan mounted on the pump bracket. So that's very nice. Uh, all of our cabinets, by the way, come with cooling fans built in. And then it has soundproof dampening foam lining the cabinets that they have, post mount and ground cabinet. And then to help with output, sound output as well, and it's one of the things that makes this a very quiet running system, is they have a filter module uh, on all the systems that is its intention is to be an indicator when the air filter cartridge needs to be changed. It senses air restriction flow and will have a little pop-up tab that will come up and tell you, hey, it's time to change this little filter cartridge. But one of the side effects of that module being added is it reduced the sound output out of the pumps by 34%, which was significant. And it's made them one of the quietest on the market now. Um, really like their performance and reliability has been exceptional. It includes one robust air uh, diffuser, self-weighted again. You set it down, it stays down on the bottom with no additional weighting. The diffuser is one of the things that makes this system probably unique in the sense it's probably the best one on the market or, or one of the top ones uh, that we've ever seen. Its design has been tested against a lot of other different designs, plate style, tube style, stick style diffusers and it has really rated well, uh, significantly better than some and, and uh, performs better than most. So you get more of a reaction in the pond for the same amount of airflow that you provide to it, better oxygenation and turnover or circulation. So it's a good choice. 100 feet of 3 8 inch weighted airline is included here. Output on the pump is 3.2 cubic feet per minute on 2.5 amps. This is on 115 volts, and of course, uh, 230 volt is optional as well for no additional charge. The warranty on the Casco Robust Air Systems, one of the best on, in the business, if not the best. Uh, three years on the compressor, 15 on the airline and diffusers, and uh, I'm sorry, 15 on the airline and lifetime on the diffusers and cabinets. By the way, these first two, before I go on, these are the expandable systems. If you find yourself with a one-acre pond that has a deep section and then a very shallow section, and you feel like you need to aerate more in the shallow section, or if you have fish as an example, it's beneficial to aerate in the summer to protect fish from heat, aerate the whole pond equally. If you have a diffuser in the deep water, that's usually enough. But in the wintertime, for those of us who live in the north where we could get solid freeze-ups in these ponds, sometimes we want to run the air in the winter too to keep that ice open. And it's better to run that diffuser or a diffuser in a shallower part of the pond, leave the deep water alone. When you have an elongated pond or a pond with variable depths that you feel you need to aerate in these two different ways for fish protection, let's say, Having a two diffuser set up, adding a diffuser to the RA1 or the PA34 makes that easy because there are valves on the manifold that would take the air from the pump and then split it and send it to each diffuser and you can control that airflow. Uh, the quarter acre pumps that you see can run one or diffusers efficiently. So these systems can be put in as a single diffuser array and then later on, if you want to add a manifold, some airline, and a second diffuser, you can do it really easy. And so if we do have a pond that is shallow, uh, fairly shallow, let's say five or six feet, the two diffusers also make sense instead of the one. Because, as I said, the, the shallower the pond, the more diffusers you need to really turn it over effectively. Um, but as you start to get into the 8, 10, 12 foot depth, a single diffuser typically near the middle at those depths will cover up to one acre easily. Next up we have the Airmax PS10. This uh, is another system that will aerate a one acre pond 12 feet deep or greater. It uses a quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor. It has a very nice poly cabinet, again with cooling fan. Uh, pressure gauge, full amenities, it's full featured, uh, but it 
typically you don't have the versatility with this system in the cabinets that you do with the two previous models we mentioned. It is kind of how it comes and I think that's the best way to get it. There's certainly nothing wrong with the way they've laid this out. It is an ultra quiet system, again very similar to the Casco, one of the quietest on the market and provides very very good performance, has been extremely reliable for us as has the Casco for example. Uh, they're just two of the most reliable systems I've ever had. This includes a one four stick self-weighted diffuser, an Air Max diffuser, another uh, solid self-weighted design that once you put it in, it stays where you put it. It has 100 feet of 3 8 inch weighted air line and the pump produces 2.3 cubic feet per minute of air on a 1.6 amp draw, so it's very efficient. The warranty on all Air Max systems is three years on the compressor, five years on the uh, diffusers and 10 years on the airline and cabinet. The last system that we're going to cover in this video for the best aerators for aerating a one acre pond would be the American Aeration AA1 Solar Aerator. Like the other systems we talked about, this aerator can handle a one acre pond from 10 to 12 feet or deeper. One of the key points about this is that it is a direct drive solar aerator, so it is basically daylight operation only from dawn till dusk. Uh, it will it will work. It includes a 300 watt solar panel. the The base system includes one single panel, 300 watts, or you can get a dual panel design, which provides even more power. This is advantageous if you live in the northern United States. Um, it helps not only extend the runtime early and late in the day when the light levels start to drop, but also it will help run the aerator on cloudy days, uh, weather impacted days with snow in the winter and different things like that where the light is not optimum. Uh, so the extra panel can definitely be helpful and there, the cost is, is pretty minimal to add that into the mix. Um, this includes a quarter horsepower rocking piston compressor, which is one of the main parts about this system I like. Some of the solar aerators you'll find in the market have electrical pumps, direct uh, or direct current pumps, DC pumps, and they they don't have the depth capability that a rocking piston compressor does, number one. And I think that over the course of the life of a pump, you get better longevity. Uh, with a few simple maintenance steps and updates with the rocking piston compressors uh, over the long term, you get a lot more longevity out of them than you do the electrical pumps. The um, upkeep is pretty minimal, and really when you talk about a rocking piston design, those are the real workhorses of the industry. More aerators are using those than anything else around as far as the larger pond uh, systems and those that will handle depths of let's say greater than eight and ten feet. Although they were will work great in less uh, depth, they can handle pretty much anything you throw at them. So I really like the fact that they've got um, a rocking piston design in this, and it is built by Thomas, which is an extremely reputable brand, just one of the best out there. Hundred feet of three eighths inch weighted airline included in this kit. Uh, output on the pump is two point eight cubic feet per minute. Again, this is on a 300 watt panel. Warranty on the system is five years on everything uh, except the non wearable maintenance parts, which would be two things air filters and uh, some piston seals and gaskets, which are part of a rebuild package that all manufacturers offer. And there is one available for this too. That's not covered under warranty unless it happens really early on in the life of the pump. Let's say the first year, it would probably be covered. But at any rate, these are the systems that I typically go to when I have a pond of about one acre in size, maybe a little larger, give or take. If I have a very deep pond, I can go a bit more. And certainly if I have a pond that's less but more shallow, I may look at adding on those first two systems an extra diffuser in there, spread the air around a little bit better to give better coverage. But it, it provides a lot of versatility in what you see here, whether you have power near the pond or no power at all, or power away from the pond, you've got something to work with. Um, I guess I would leave uh, this video with one final comment. The one thing that I wanted to do here is provide you with some examples of what would work 
in a certain size and depth of pond. And you can certainly take the information here and know and understand that no matter where you end up getting your aerator, you will be educated enough to get the best aerator for your needs and your situation. That is important in my mind. So if you have any questions about any of these systems, if you want to take a look at them yourself, get pricing information like that, or if you need any help with your pond or pond aeration questions, look us up at AmericanAeration.com. My name is Mark. Happy to help if we can. And for now, I hope you have a great day wherever you are.